Hope everybody had a good weekend. My wife and I and some friends uh, last Saturday drove an hour and some change south of us and went to a water park where my big old white belly was flopping around in the sun and got lobster sunburnt on um, like bad sunburnt on my shoulders and my arms and my forehead. I don't know if you can see all that in my receding hairline and stuff, but I can't wear a hat because my head's burnt and all that good stuff. But we had a lot of fun and it was good to get away from everything and just just relax and do something different. Something that's actually fun instead of just visiting people, which is fun too, don't get me wrong there. But anyway, we had a blast and uh, feels good to be back and back into the swing of things. So, I've got a couple things to cover real quick. Asking about my thoughts on the X-Carve so far. Um, I'm frustrated with the spindle that came with it. It's really not that strong. I've had to, I'm cutting uh, three quarter inch birch plywood, just making some small signs and stuff to kind of test it out and play with it. And using a two flute spiral upcut carbide bit, one eighth of an inch bit, I've had to decrease the speeds that were set in easel by like nearly half because the whole carriage uh, jumps around. I don't know if that's just you know the bit not being super uh, super sharp or whatever, but not really impressed with the stock spindle on here. I want to put a router in it, but then you run into the problem with a router having the fan on the bottom side of the actual router blowing air down, which is supposed to remove uh, chips from the bit, help cool the bit. I understand that. Uh, my Bosch Colt on the Shapoko 2 um, just blew dust everywhere so dust collection is pretty much non-existent with it that's the only downfall but i'll probably end up putting a router in this thing and tinkering it with it from there uh, but i want to make a smaller cart i say smaller but this thing is like 40 inches by 40 inches or however many it is it's a it's a pretty big size machine so i'm probably gonna make a cart for it and stick it where my welder and uh drill press were i've kind of had to move a couple things. <laughs> I always move crap around in the shop. But I've had to move a couple things along the perimeter to get this to where everything will fit and I can't add any more crap to the shop. So uh, it'll be the, the bandsaw, then the CNC machine, and then this little tool cart. I don't know if you can see that, but this little tool cart that used to be uh, below my little whiteboard over here by the right of the miter saw station next to the uh, sticker cabinet. So that will completely cover up that wall and there will be nothing else that I can do with this wall. And then on the other side, let me just turn the camera around. On the other side, so uh, the stairs used to go from the door that way and I moved the stairs to the front. So from the door to the cameras where the stairs are, which immediately opens up a spot on the floor where the uh, cyclone dust collector will go, cyclone shop back uh, cart will go, and then the drill press next to it, and then to the other side of that, I still got a couple more pieces of junk in here before my shed arrives. I ordered a shed to go in the backyard to get all the garden crap and small stuff that uh, I don't need in the shop out of here. So that all that area will be cleared out and then I'm gonna tear down that plywood rack. It was a big mistake and I'll make a video specifically on why that is a big mistake but I'm gonna redo it horizontally. It'll actually end up taking up less space horizontally and I'll talk more about that later. Skeeter is doing better. A couple people have asked about my dog being bit by the snake. Skeeter's doing great. He's back to his normal self. He uh, still has a little bit of a a scab or uh, right above his eye where he got bit, but he's doing great. He's back to his normal self. Thank you all for uh, uh, following up on that. Yes, I got a new table saw. It is a SawStop PCS table saw, and I like it. Has anyone glazed white cabinets before? I've got white cabinets in uh, throughout my house, all the like the bathroom vanities and the uh, kitchen cabinets. They're all white. Uh, I think like a white lacquer. I think that's what it is. Um, but I'm wanting to glaze the bathroom cabinets that my wife just repainted the bathroom. Um, 
kind of to give it an old timey look maybe, but I'm afraid to do it because I don't want to screw it up. Finishing has never been my strong point by any means. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, experiment on the toilet cabinet that was actually in that bathroom. And if it, uh, we took it down to paint the walls and I haven't put it back up yet. So if I really like screw it up and it looks like crap, then yeah, I don't have to put it back up put something else back up. But um, I may be experimenting with it, and I don't know if I'll do a video on it or not, but it'll be fun. I've uh, just never done it before, and like I said, finishing has never been my strong point, so I don't want to really, I'm kind of afraid of screwing it up too bad, but surely it can't be too difficult. This is from Jared English, the Indianapolis 500. He sent me a sticker. He said he's real close to it, won't be able to watch the race because of a, a TV blackout, but he can hear the cars from his house. Uh, I have some land two hours north of here that I lived previously before I met my wife and about two miles down the road is a uh, eighth mile drag strip and from my house I can hear the vehicles on that little drag strip so I imagine he could really hear the vehicles from here uh, from his house rather and something I didn't know is uh, da -da -da, the the 500 mile race is the largest single day sporting event in the world I did not know that. I absolutely did not know that. I was expecting like the Super Bowl or something like that to be that, to be the largest single day sporting event in the world. But lo and behold, it is the Indianapolis 500. Thank you very much for the sticker. I very much appreciate it. Ben Wallace from Spotsylvania, Virginia. I've never heard of that name, Spotsylvania. Spotsylvania, Virginia. That's an interesting name. Anyway, he is a firefighter and sent an engine number five uh, the Big Easy from Spotsylvania, Spotsylvania County, Virginia. Uh, sticker for the cabin. I very much appreciate the sticker. And firefighters, like I've said before, are one of those jobs that really don't get enough credit. Um, they, they deserve much more credit than what they get. Running into a burning house to save other people is just... That's a tough job. So thank you very much for that and also thank you very much for the sticker. So let's go ahead and put these on the cabinet real quick. I keep getting requests to do a shop tour video, I'm not ignoring you guys. I really, really will do a shop tour video soon, but there's a couple things that I want to get done as far as shop projects go before I actually make a video because I don't want to get the video done and then change up the shop again because you guys know that I keep changing up my shop anyway as it is, and there's no such thing as a finished shop anyway, so let me get a couple more bigger shop things done that I want to get done and then I'll make that video. No telling when, but... Um, I promise you I'm not ignoring you. You guys have a very productive week. I'll talk to you guys Sunday. Talk to you guys Sunday.